most players have a loop in their swing and that's usually uh, a negative connotation and that loop generally is taking the club on this kind of a path this club head then the club head will loop around to the outside and either pull the ball to the left or more than likely cut across the ball and produce a slice. We're going to go the opposite direction and try to have the good loop which is the inside loop, the type of swing produced by Freddie Couples and Jim Furyk. Although their swings look a lot different from each other they do something in common. That common thing is they take the club more to the outside but then they drop it to the inside putting their hands and the club in a very powerful position to go after the ball from this inside strong position. So it's more out to in to out. Think of the club head painting a path out to in to in to out to back in. It's looping to the inside. It's coming at it from a very strong inside position. Let's do the Freddy Couples, huh? Freddy's lines up open, takes it way outside, but still drops it in. Out to drop it in, then fire. That was pretty good. I felt like Freddy on that one. <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> I felt the motion though. For the most part, players do not take the club down the target line long enough. Players tend to bring the club too far inside, too early, and too much around them. Even good players who get into bad habits will take the club too far inside. Also, it's a major cause of the hosel shot. You know the one, the one that goes to the right. Bringing it too far from the inside, you'll come into it with that part of the club hitting the ball. So, take it more down the line and even a little outside the line so you have room. Like I was saying, the good players are getting trouble. Once they can take the club more down the line, now they have room to bring it either down the line or slightly inside the line. But when you take it in here, it's very hard for you to duplicate that inside to inside move. It's very hard to duplicate. Usually, you'll take it in and then when you turn your hips or go after the ball, you'll be out here. You don't even have to take a swing. You can just, if you're in your living room, simulate something like this. Take the club or your hands out, then now drop them in close to your body. Feel how strong that is from this position. Then you can release the club. Now do it your old way, which is generally taking the club too far in, and then you're out here. Now, go after the ball hard from here. It feels very weak. If you were gonna try to hit something, very hard. You could use your whole body from here real strong. However, if you're out here, it's going to be a glancing blow. It won't be very strong. So we're going to do the out to in to in to out swing. Not the easiest thing to produce <laughs> since you've been doing it the opposite way all your life. So got to be patient with this. Take it more down the line or outside the line than normal. Then bring it back in. Whether you adopt the, the good loop for all your shots, that's a big question mark. However, this might be a good practice for you to, to use this on a range. It might get the club in a better position rather than you looping from the inside maybe it'll reduce the loop or or just eliminate it 
completely. But if you can master the inside loop, you'll be, you'll be strong. I would, <laughs> would not attempt this on the golf course. Make sure you have <laughs> some experience on the range when you do this. Good loop. All right, the good loop. I think one key in to getting this loop, good loop to work is to give it time during the transition. I found that if I give it a little more time during the transition so the club has a chance to get back in here, it's a lot more successful that way. So on the backswing, take it straight down the line, farther out than you think, give it time to get back in here, and then you can go hard. So when it's done correctly, it's really solid, and you feel strong on your feet too. Give it time on the transition.